If you want to support the platform, just in case anything like this happens again, you can do it by way of PayPal, Patreon, uh, Cash App, and also by um, the Anchor. And you can also further support the platform by way of going to the uh, the Teespring store or um, the shoe store that is located in the comment section below. A teacher has been sending pictures of her private parts to school kids. Natalie Black, age 27, reportedly sent simulation videos and she also asked her students to perform oral things in a video sent by black to her students she is seen performing a simulated act on an alcoholic bottle while dancing without clothes from the waist down black is a teacher at hillside arts and letter academy in queens borough of new york her first such incident came to light when she sent dozen of racy snaps in lingerie or nude to a minor student in 2021. Black's abuse is detailed among a batch of disturbingly new released reports from a special commissioner of investigation for city schools that documents multiple incidences of shocking sexually charged behavior by female teachers and teaching assistants. Currently, Black is not facing any charges, but a student from Hillside has been interviewed by the NYPD. In Black's investigation, the 70-year-old pupil was interviewed by NYPD officers, but she did not face charges. Students underline that the school community was never told of the probe into her actions. They also told that Black had refused to cooperate with investigators of SCI. Black was removed from New York City Department of Education Services while the probe was ongoing and recommended that she should be taken off of the workforce permanently in her total unfitness to be a teacher. However, the Department of Education is not taking any response regarding the employment of status of Black. On her LinkedIn profile, the woman still claims that she works for the Department of Education. So before I start seeing comments on here talking about, is she FBA? Is she FBA? We need to figure out her lineage. Does it matter? Because I've covered American teachers. I've covered teachers from all over. Just say that in the comments section, you don't care about kids. That's all you got to do. Just say that you don't care about kids because it doesn't matter who or where this woman basically comes from. The fact of the matter is that she is teaching here in America. She's not teaching in any other country. She's teaching here in America and she's teaching in New York. She's teaching in Queens. So like I said before, the main point that I keep bringing up to people is that you got individuals like this who decide to go directly after minors and they send them things and nothing happens. Explain to me. How it is that on her LinkedIn, she can still even state that she still works there. How is it that the school system has not fired her or has not at least insinuated that they are in the process of doing so, that her services are no longer needed? You mean to tell me that she was caught amongst other female teachers doing the exact same thing? Like I said, this is this is 100 percent ridiculous. But like I said before, the main problem is when you have women that do these things pretty much nothing happens if anything at all maybe a slap on the wrist in rare instances you might see people serve some type of prison time and they'll have to register but did you hear anywhere in there that she has to register after she was handing out consciously logically not under the influence of any type of substance that she was contacting these what students and sending them these videos where are the parents to speak out about this where is the outrage where is the outcry why is it that i don't see women marching about this why don't i see women protesting about this on social media why don't i see women making a big fuss about this but i promise you if it was a man that did this right and rightfully so you would see people protest you would see people make a fuss about it you will see people do tons of videos and bring this up and all this other type of stuff but like i said before when it comes to women this is how that works this is why i don't subscribe to the whole notion of equality because things just aren't equal and it's shown in everyday life 
and it's shown in situations like this where if a man were to have committed the exact same crime and rightfully so he would be serving time he would be registered his name would be known he would be stripped of being able to be a teacher he would have been already fired from his position but when it just so happens to be a woman this is what it looks like this is what it looks like but nobody wants to talk about women doing these things and actively going after students like i said before back during the day who did you have uh mary kate letourno if i'm correct that should have been one of the main ones right but it's like people forgot about that and people are just oh oh but look at what the men do look 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 what the men do. excuse me so you mean to tell me that it's more important don't don't focus on it equally but it's just more so important to focus on the negative things that men are doing and not focus at the same time on the negative things that women are doing in the exact same position that can lead to issues when it deals with the teens when it deals with the students right that they have guardianship over for eight hours where parents in the community has handed over their trust to these other adults to do the best things possible for these kids and all these teachers are doing are things for their own selfish gains okay i guess